Alola, welcome to the Wolf Pack. My name is Sand Distress A3, and welcome to Pokemon Shining Pearl. I know what you're thinking, Sand. Why are you playing this? You played Brilliant Diamond, and you're done with that now. Well, I did, but I don't. Hey, what can I say? My channel, my rules. You know. So I'll be honest. Pearl was one of the first games. The original Pop Pearl was the first game where I had a completed Pokedex. So I figured, why not? Anyways, would you like to start the game in the chosen language? Yes. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, by the way, to this channel. Hello there. It's so nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just, just calls me the Pokemon Professor. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, we play together, at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Alright, well, um, this is more of me, let's be honest. What's my name? You know my name's Say it with me. Sand. Your name is Sand. Okay, so you're Sand. A fine name that is. Now, this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? What, Clint? Ralph? Lewis? Tommy? You know what? This is Barry. I remember Barry. Barry, is it? That's your friend's name? Alright, Sand. It, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you may meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on and leap into the world of Pokemon! Are we reading that dumb report? Ugh. Despite the exploration team's best efforts, the rare oddly colored Pokemon Lou detection, the rumored Red Gyarados failed to appear, then even fleetingly to the crestfallen team. That concludes our special report on the search for the Red Gyarados. Brought to you by Jubilee TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week. Same time, same channel. Hey, what's that? An Azor flute? What does that do? Oh, so I have a flute. Let's check my PC. Is there not? Oh. Hello? Hey, Mom. Sam, Barry came looking, calling for you a, while, a little while ago. I don't know what it was about, but he said it was, it was an emergency. Of course it was him. Oh yes, Sam, don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... Yo. Sorry, I had to check time here and there. Oh. Hey. Ow! What was that all about? Oh, hey, Sand. I'm going to the lake. You should come, too, and be quick about it. Okay, Sand, I'm finding you one million if you're late. You forgot something? Oh, jeez, forgot something. I just want to get my Pokemon. Now, you're probably wondering, Sand... Wait, what? Why does she look so dumb? Doesn't he take... Wait. <laughs> Stupid kid. 
I better take my bat and guidebook too. Oh, hey, Sand. We're going to the lake. I'll be waiting on the road. It's a $10 million fine if you're late. Skank. I'm excited, but yeah, as I was about to say before, I was really interrupted. You're probably wondering, who am I picking? It should be pretty obvious. I'm picking the Empoleon. Pipla. Hey. Let's see. Hey, you saw that news report that was on TV, right? Wait, these kids watch the news? What? You know, search for the red Gyarados. The mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in a lake? That choke got me thinking. I'll bet our local lake has a Pokemon like that in it, too. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll go find a Pokemon like that. This is kind of weird. These are just kids. All right, to the lake. Let's find some red Gyarados. What's going on? Professor, there isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side either. Hmm, I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but fine, it's enough that we have seen the lake. Dawn, we're leaving. Professor, how are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh after being away for four years? It must be exciting again. Hmm, there is one thing I can say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The reasons should serve us very well in regard to our studies. You just left your briefcase? Excuse me, let us pass, please. I beg your pardon, we'll be on our way. What was that about those two? Huh, see, let's go check this out. What's that? Don't go into the tall grass? No problem, we won't be in there long enough for a wild Pokemon to come out. It's a briefcase. Those people, people forgot it here. What are we supposed to do with it? We can try to return it, but who were they? I heard them say, Professor. What? Pokemon! What's going on? Well, these are Pokeballs. What's about using the Pokemon in them? Which one do you want? No. I know what you're thinking. The penguin Pokemon is mine. Now, do I have anything good? You encountered a wild Starly. What moves do we have? It's a flightless bird. Anyways, there. I can't wait to catch some Pokemon. Also, apparently this Piplup only has certain moves. Alright. What time is he? Shit. Oh, I can't even run. Too bad. Piplup phone. Well, what? Your pit is only rock, but my toe wig was way tougher than yours. They were out of other, they were other people's home, but we had to do something. Those people won't be mine, will they? Oh, there's the briefcase. The professor would have been furious if I'd lost it. Oh, oh no! Did, did you use the Pokemon that were in here? You did? Oh my gosh. What's the professor going to say? This is so nice. I'll take this briefcase for now. Do I have a Pokemon now? What was that about? I don't know what's going on here. Let's get out of here. My Pokemon got hurt from that battle. If we get tired by I never Pokemon them, we might be in trouble. Yeah. Whose idea was it to go into the grass? You go ahead. I know we just got the others. They're not ours. But I want to spend just a little more time with this little guy. Piplop. This is exciting. Oh, 
Hey, it's those. Hey, it's those people. That is that old guy staring at us. Yes. Hmm. I heard from Dawn that you used our Pokemon. Let me see them, please. Hmm. Piplup and Turtwig. Hmm. I see. That's how it is. Dawn, I'm going back to my lab. Um. Uh, okay, Professor. Please wait for me. I think you should visit our lab later. Okay. See you. What was that about? Crazy about. If he was angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever, and then he want his Pokemon back. Say, we should go home today. Yeah. What a big first day. What's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad that both you and Barry are on a hunt? The professor he mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of Sand and Gym Town. I've heard that he is well known for his studies on Pokemon. I hear he's also quite intimidating. Sam, I think you need to visit him in Sand Jump Hub. He needs to properly explain why he had no choice but to use his Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure he will understand. Oh, I know, Sam. Put these on. <gasps> Rain shoes! What time is it? Okay, I'm gonna have to see that. You'll be seeing that a couple times. Sorry. Oh, well, nice. I can get places much faster. I know the rules. I know how rain shoes work. Yes, I know. Awesome. Bye bye. Later! I don't want a battle. Also, imagine if this thing was shiny. I would have been pissed. Because no one, I don't have any Pokeballs. Wait, I can't name you? Get out, get out, 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 out. Yep, 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 yep. Hello, Dawn. Fancy meeting you again. Oh, there you are. The please come with me. The professor is waiting. This is it. Our Pokemon research lab. Let's go. Ow! What the? Oh, it's you, Sand. That old guy. He's not scary. So scary, scary so much that as he is totally out there. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter, Sand. I'm out of here. See you later. Well, what was that? Your friend Shore seems to be real impatient. Well, anyway, let's go inside. Hello, Professor. Finally, you've come. Or sand, was it? Let me see that Pokemon again. Hmm, I see this Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alright then, I'll give you that Piplup. That Piplup to you as a gift. Now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? Yes, 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 yes. I have the perfect nickname. It's a boy, it's perfect. Pengu. I remember it from an old, from an old show. Peng, hmm, okay. I was saying, you're happy with that nickname? Your friend Barry told me what happened at the lake. I heard that you battled very well, despite it being your first time. And what, from what I can see, there is a growing bond between you and that Pokemon, though it is still young. That's why I would like to entrust you with Piplop. I'm so glad that you're kind towards Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to... Oh, I just can't say it. What? What'd you have to do? Ahem, let's move to the main topic. There's something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask you. I would trust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record all data? Sure. Hmm, good answer. Thanks. <laughs> yes, I know it's a very high tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Sam, I ask that you go over and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I got one too. When you walked up route to a one with your Pokemon, what did it feel? I've lived for 60 long years. Even though I get that feeling. So now you should know that there were countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you up there. Now go! Sam, your grand adventure begins right now! The Pokemon that I used for this Pokemon first time was Chimchar. If you would have chosen Chimchar at the lake, then we'd have the same one now. Not that it matters, but... Anyway, I'm done. I also helped the Professor add pages to the Pokedex. So in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head start, that's on that's all. I'd be happy to teach you things. Can I have to teach meet you, Sam? 
Wait, is this dad or is her dad? Oh my god, he, he met Professor Oak! Okay, Stan, I'll act as your mentor. I've got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and as the professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. Can I have some Pokeballs? This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. It's the place that heals Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. You can find a Pokemon Center in most towns. This building with the red, with the blue roof, over here is the Pokemon. It's shot where you can buy and sell items and medicine. Since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. Don't let it bother you. Oh, that's right, Sam. Don't you need to let your family that you're going to help Professor Owen with the Pokedex? You may need to travel pretty far, so I think you should let someone. Oh, before you go, let me help your Pokemon. That'd be a lot less scary that way. Okay, bye. Pengu! Pengu! I spelt it wrong. Alright. Do I have to do all this? Let's see what time it is. Shit. If only I had my poke etch. So I got a Pokemon. I got the Cool. I wonder who I'm gonna have. Welcome home, San. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? I just made dinner. Took a course there. What's up, San? You have wow, Professor asked you to do something that big. Okay, dear. Go for it. Your mom's got your bag. Oh, I know. I got something that you'll find useful. The guidebook? Yeah, it's guy my hat. That's a good one. Let's go get one. You're curious about some stuff. They're in your pension, my friends. Gee, journey full of adventure. I can't you, kiddo. But you know, you have your Pokemon with you. I should go instead. I'm just joking, Sam. I'll be alright by myself here, so you go and enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things and new experiences, and experience new sensations, it makes your mother happy too. But please come back sometimes. I would like to see the kinds of Pokemon you've caught, dear. Uh, yeah, very left. Oh, yeah. Let me guess. I have to get the map to him. Yep, figured. Can I have Pokeballs, please? I would love a map. Uh. What? My hat? Hey, I got my hat. Yes, that hat always did suit you well. Now off you go. All right. Well, good. No badges. I'll get them soon. I do want to get a Starly. I know that. I think a Starly would help me well with some gems. And trainers. But we'll see what I can get. If I had Pokeballs, I could have caught one. Alright, time to go. This is going to be a good series as well, along with Violet. Hello. Can I know how to catch Pokemon? Oh, that's right. Sam, I haven't shown you how to catch a Pokemon. I'll demonstrate how to catch one, so just watch me, okay? If she catches a shiny, I'm gonna be pissed. Nope, good. Well, hey, she had my starter from Brilliant Diamond. Cool. What's funny is I also have my rival starter from Brilliant Diamond as well. And he has Dawns. Okay, the HP is down. It's ready for a Pokeball. We got like a lot of Pokeballs. 
I wonder what I'll all catch. I definitely want a flying type on this team. I might even go for a Roserade. Funny fact, I I actually did have one in, in Pokemon White too, but I quickly replaced it for something else. <laughs> See, isn't it neat? Actually, it's better to lower your target HP more than I did. It's important to get the Pokemon's HP down as low as possible. A healthy Pokemon is very difficult to catch. Oh, Pokemon also get easier to catch if you make them sleep or something by using a Pokemon's move. Okay, Sand, to get you started, I, I'll give you some Pokeballs. Pokeballs! Probably enough for like a North Philip my team. If you had lots of Pokemon with you, I'll be staying for a long trip. Plus, it'll be a lot more fun to have your Pokemon friends along. Okay, I need to get going. Bye now. Can I get my my first, my second member? Starly. No, but I found like the first thing I one of the first Pokemon I caught in Brilliant Diamond. It's funny that no matter what starter I choose, I can always seem to have an electric type. I don't know why they don't add new types. But this is not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for a uh, Bidoof. Because it, when it evolves, it, becomes, it inherits a water type. Nope. <sighs> Alright. I also remember that, uh... The uh, name raider is in Eterna. Is this where I can, a route where I can find Starly? I'll find out. No! So I have to backtrack a little. I guess. I don't know. I have not been to the Sinnoh region in a little while. I've been a little tired. Also, imagine if my Piplup was shiny. I, I, I probably would have loved it. Can I have a Starly, please? No, it's a cricket tot. I didn't know we could find those here. I didn't know we found cricket tot in this route, in the route of it, in route, in this here route. I guess. And I'm actually a little shocked. Where is a starly? Well, when in doubt, go back to the first route of the game. You know? You never know how helpful that can be. Because unless they can be found there as well, I've given up. I know there's also an item supposedly down here somewhere. Oh, right here. An antidote. Perfect! Thankfully though, I don't need to worry about getting any water types. Also, it's weird that your rival lives here. Or that the, your other trainer. Target locked! I have the perfect name for my Starly. Pound. One more should do the trick. There we go. One more. There. Also, fun fact, I had a little pip, a giant piplup plush when I was younger. Where, like, the back and front of it opened up a little bit. Okay? Pokeball. There we go. One shake. Two shake. Triple shake. Gotcha! Now, ladies and gents, boys and girls. Well, in this case, just ladies and gents. Welcome the newest member of my team. Apex! Welcome Apex to the team. It's beautiful. We have two members. Wait, does that have any flying type moves? No, it doesn't. Uh, it's freshly caught. Do I have any healing items? Yep. I mean, I don't have what I need, but... 
You know, I'll buy some. I'll get some potions if I can. Okay, I can buy Pokeballs and potions. I'll get like 11. There we go. Okay, I'll get like 11 more Pokeballs and I can get a Premier Ball. Wait, why do I get Premier Balls on the house? These are actually very nice places. These are the classic days for those who don't know what I'm talking about. Anywho, that's going to be it for this episode. In the next episode, we're going to continue on our way to Jubilee City. And, you know, continue on. But, anywho, I want to thank you all very, very much for watching this video. And as always, we will see you next time on Pokemon Shining Pearl. Bye, guys.